Welcome back, everyone. Today, we are looking on this. And this might be one of the coolest car I ever seen. Um, this is a Jeep SJ. It's a military version that had been used by the Swedish Air Force. And this specific vehicle have been borrowed from STX in Hamsta. Link will be in the description. You should totally check them out. They are a super cool company that let me borrow this car. Under the hood of this engine, we find a 5.9 liters V8 engine. And by the look of it, it's a carbonated engine and it has around 177 horsepower. Um, this is an old school um, V8. So it has the classical V8 sound. This vehicle is equipped with some uh, Cooper Discovery ST tires and it runs on 265 on 75 width and it has uh, it is on a 16 inch rim and by the look on it it's the original rim uh, there's quite a lot of bolts so the bolt pattern is not really what you would see on on a newer newer jeep or more like uh, what you would see on a, um, a consumer vehicle though this uh, ea20 might have the same uh, log pattern on the civilian edition. I am not sure about this. The cool thing with this vehicle is that it has this typical military look. You clearly see that they put some military paint on it and for military use it's mostly about being practical. So it, th this is not uh, the shiny typical paint. It's the correct cool looking military look. So they probably just rolled it on and uh, when the paint went off they rolled on some new paint. So it has a really cool look. And they painted everything. Well they left the chrome details and stuff like that. But when it comes to door handles and key knobs and stuff like that they just painted it because that's practical. Let's have a look on, on the inside and the inside is really cool. It's really old school. You're sitting like a, a really cool truck in it and it has all the knobs and stuff like that that are like just like you pull them out. There's a lot of chrome details and overall it's also very minimalistic and simple. And what's cool with this vehicle is that it only has 4,700 kilometers on the odometer, which is nothing. It's not much at all. Of course, it's a very manual car. The doorknobs are uh, manual. There's a small window here that you can open. I'm not going to open that window though, because it looks a little bit corroded. And I know that those kinds of windows from the past uh, in the Cherokees and stuff like that, they, sometimes they aren't able to open, sometimes they are not. But it's a cool little detail to have. Since this is a truck, it's a proper, has a trucker bed as well. And this bed is a huge one. Uh, not sure if it's the biggest one or where it goes. Is it an extra long one or, it's, it's, or if it's a small bed. But by the look of it, it's, uh, I would say it's longer ones because this is absolutely huge. I could not even stretch out all the way here. So if you're gonna use this truck for practical stuff, you had a lot of space. And it's cool, it has to, some hooks. So you could strap on your stuffs. Have the spare tire here, by the look of it, it's a manual one, or it's the original one, so that's pretty cool too. So just by looking on this car, I could say it's a really cool vehicle. It clearly has a lot of personality. It's, it is really cool. It's one of the coolest car I've ever seen, to be honest. And then I have seen a lot of cool cars, but this is a really unique vehicle, which makes it ridiculously cool because it's so unique. 
Um, this whole car is standing on a frame. Of course, it's a body on frame vehicle. In the front, it seems like it has a Dana 40 and it has a Dana 60 in the back. Uh, there's a transfer case on it, so it has the, the two, two wheel drive, it has a four wheel drive, four high, and it has four low, and there's also a neutral switch on it. Uh, it is an automatic car, and it seems like it's a three speed automatic gearbox. So, what could we say about this vehicle? The J20 in this version in this configuration, it's probably one of the coolest Jeeps I ever seen. But did you know there's other versions as well? Let's go over here. We have another one. Both of these cars are for sale on STX in Hamsta. You could check them out on STX Dot SE, link will be in the description. This one was built for group transports. It is fully identical. There is some outside things that are a little bit different. The mirrors here, for example, are, don't have the chrome, but if we look on the inside, they are more or less identical. But the unique thing with this one is the back. This back here was used for troop transports and stuff like that. And this vehicle would be super cool to build into a camper, surface van, or just preserve as it is. There is, however, endless possibilities with all this space in here. So we are on the inside of it. And just look at this. This is, <laughs> this is really cool. Imagine all the things you could do with this vehicle. As it is now, it's, the seat here is really comfortable. There's two other seats over there. And I could just like imagine what kind of history and what kind of people have been riding in here. Maybe pilots for the Air Force, uh, where they were like driving pilots out to the airstrips and to the airplanes and stuff like that. And uh, this is also a very unique vehicle. In some ways, I'm thinking like it would be cool just to get it and just keep it as it is, preserve the history of it. Maybe just like make it into mint condition, but by the look of it, it's even if it's not mint condition, it has the kind of history, it tells a story. And it is, it's a military vehicle. They took care of the equipment. The military is cleaning the rifles every time they use them. And they do have the same kind of service with cars. They take care of the things because they need everything to work spotless. Here we are on the other side. Uh, in the back here, there's a total of five seats. They are, of course, removable and they are easy to remove. They are just like attached with some screws that you could basically remove by hand because it's a military vehicle. It's about practicality and it's about being able to adapt things. This is a super cool vehicle. I cannot like, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but it really is a cool vehicle. <laughs> and let's, let's get outside and have a look on this from the outside, shall we? Now, we're getting to the most exciting part. It is to drive this vehicle. So I'm gonna take it for a test drive and we'll see how it feels to drive. <laughs> it sounds like a proper Jeep. The transmission is a hand shift, so you push it like this and it goes into reverse, neutral and drive. And first impression, the servo and the power steering on this vehicle is very effective. It's not hard to drive. <laughs> this is, uh, it feels so different from 
<laughs> everything else I've been driving. At the moment when the engine is cold, oh, just listen to that. <laughs> it, it, it sounds, it sounds very old school. And that's a really good thing. But I'm surprised just yes, when driving it that it tracks straight. The steering wheel is a little bit off, but that is easy to adjust. But overall it's well it is it has it has leaf springs front and rear so it is st stiff in that sense and it's also a vehicle that could handle a lot of load I feel th the feeling of driving this is, is is very different it feels it feels good <laughs> it feels like you are king of the road <laughs> in a, a very good way you feel like uh, people are seeing you and there's no doubt they are seeing you because well it, it is an old school military jeep of course people are gonna see it when it comes to like uh, comfort features you have uh, heat in it, of course. Uh, it's a military jeep used in Sweden, so of course there's gonna be heat in it. Um, this is, in many ways, the most... No, I would say this is the most unique vehicle I have ever been driven. And the feeling of driving it is uh, unique it you can't really say that it it drives you can't really say that it drives good in, in a sense of talking of like performance and stuff like that or compared to modern vehicle but if you look at what kind of vehicle this is, it drives really good. There, there's not any extreme play in the steering. It is responsive for being what it is. And you're feeling good driving it. It shifts really smooth. I, I don't even noticing the shifts it's just like going to gear so smoothly it is a little bit noisy of course but well what would you expect from from what it is that is a part of of the driving sensation to have that all those sounds At the moment, I'm driving it in ADK, and it goes really straight. I, I'm not noticing it. I, I've been driven other vehicles that feels much more untamed to driving in, in, in speed. This one is well behaved, and works <laughs> it's a pleasure to drive it that that's what you could say let's see the engine is starting to get a little bit warmer so soon i'm gonna see how how you also a little bit give it some light acceleration and stuff like that it, it, this is of course not, not a a vehicle that you're like uh, giving full gas with and like a driving like that it's it's more like a cruiser and a practical vehicle in that sense uh, 
but it's not in any way a slow vehicle um, you don't have any issues to keep up with traffic uh, and uh, driving it in that sense it is however quite big uh, but you know where the vehicle is even if it's big it's not sketchy big to drive um, and the visibility is because of it's being an older car the visibility is, is really good you know where you have the car and where it is when you're driving it sitting in this car is also really nice the seats are soft and you're and plush I wonder a little bit how this vehicle would handle in an off-road situation um, if I would guess it would handle really good in like all Jeep does there it is a pure off-roader it has a transfer case it has a solid front and rear axles and it, the transfer case has a low range gearing of course so it could handle off-road no doubt however it is also a pickup truck and it will have all the drawbacks that a pickup truck would have in a ha, have in an off-road situation and what that means is that it's a little bit big and the truck bed has the overhang and stuff like that that's that's the same for all pickup trucks <sighs> i really like driving this um, And when you're driving this in the town, everyone is turning their heads. Uh, probably for two reasons. They hear it, and they, when they hear it, they, they like, that, that doesn't sound like a, nor like a regular new car. And then they turn their face and they see it, and they're like, whoa. Uh, so it is definitely a head turner. And I would say just by driving it like this, how I'm doing, I, I could live with this. I could use this as a daily driver or more like a practical car. Like the, the, I could definitely see how this car could be a part of my everyday life and how, how I could use this car or truck to do stuffs. Oh, we, we have a tunnel. <laughs> Let's see, a tunnel means you have to take down the window and hear the sound. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sound of an old school V8 is something unique. Um, I wonder how this would sound with a straight pipe. <laughs> Probably very good. So, but. Uh, this one has mufflers I think it would be brutal without mufflers <laughs> and probably brutal in a good way driving this car in, in um, dr just driving around with this truck is it's it's easy uh, you are very light on the gas when you're just driving it around in smaller areas and it's just, you feel how it just wanna go forward. It's the big, strong engine. It's just like pulling you forward in, in a very nice manner. So we, we're driving around on smaller roads in the city and it does it good. Just by looking on it, you, you might think that a, a vehicle of this size would be unpractical and hard to drive in the city uh, well it isn't the fun thing is that it doesn't really matter who you're past uh, people of all ages and stuff like that <laughs> they are turning their, their heads and take a look on it i think if we would talk about my favorite jeeps and which jeep is my absolute favorite well that question might be a little bit difficult to answer but this jeep is definitely 
would definitely be on that list. Um, this is an old school vehicle and it has a that good old school feeling of driving it. If you are looking on this video and you get the feeling like, whoa, I, I really want that Jeep. Well, th then you're lucky because this Jeep and the other Jeep that I showed, they are both for sale. Uh, so if you are clicking the link in the description, you will be taken to the company who sells them. And you can buy them. You could buy one of them or you could buy both of them. And then if you buy both of them, you will uh, be the, chair, the coolest person in the world because you own two old school Jeeps. And that is, well, that makes you the coolest person in the world. <laughs> and the value of these kinds of vehicles have been increased quite a lot in recent years. And I think they're gonna continue to do the same. Uh, this kind of vehicles are probably just gonna increase more and more in value. And uh, as the age goes, they're gonna be probably gonna be harder to come by, especially in good in good conditions. Uh, I mean, you you're always gonna be able to find. A crappy one that is like beaten up and stuff like that and have been taken by rust but this one is in a really good condition it is very in many ways uh, probably as near mint condition you could get with these kinds of vehicle without like uh, buying a restored one so if you want to do a full-out rest restoration on a vehicle like this. This is a good start. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I want to take this one home with me. Uh, and well, that would probably be doable, but well, it's not time for me to get another vehicle, not yet at least. Uh, I think this is one of the coolest cars I have ever been driven. Uh, it is unique. It's very unique. Uh, the amount of the, the amount <laughs> the amount of cars that were made and used on the roads of these in Sweden, I think it's under 500. Uh, especially the military ones. Uh, if you want to get your hands on them, you either have to buy them from a dealership or if you're lucky, you'll find them on an auction or something like that. Uh, but that was more common some years ago. Uh, nowadays, people starting to realize what kind of value they have and it doesn't really matter if you find them on an auction or if you find them on a dealership, uh, they they go for the right kind of value. Look at this, I'm going in around 80K, which is maybe 15 miles per hour. And it goes so straight, even if I take out my steering wheel. I, I don't really have to sit like this and stare. And considering that I had like newer Jeeps, modern vehicles, and they steer more like this. I, I think that says a lot on, on the overall condition on, on this vehicle. So here we have the both Jeeps. They are both really cool. I kind of like wonder which one is my favorite. It's not that obvious for me, I mean, that one just looks badass, and this one are maybe more practical in some ways. Depends on what you can do with it. However, they are both really cool, and it would be cool if you let me know in the comment which one is your favorite, which one would you prefer. 
And if you like this kind of content, I have more reviews over here and click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I see you later.